Once you configured your SCADA devices to connect through the FortiGate firewall, the next logical thing is to create specific industrial signatures uh, that your FortiGate will use to analyze the different protocols and anomalies. So let's make sure that we have operational technology enabled. Let's now apply that. And let's look at the security profiles and application control. And let's try to find um, Modbus signatures. All right, Modbus, we didn't find nothing. So let's change that. All right, to include um, industrial signatures both on the IPS sensor and on the application control you will need to open up the command line config IPS global and here we will set the um, the signatures not to exclude uh, industrial so if you use the tab you can see that you can exclude the industrial signatures we will use them so set the exclude signatures to none and let's end that all right now let's move again to application control create new sensor let's name it let's name it modbus since our plcs are using modbus and now uh, let's look at the application signatures just to see that we can use the Modbus. Let's search and there we have it. We have uh, lots of uh, applications that are using Modbus in different scenarios such as diagnostics and so on. So let's just read coils. Let's use the Modbus read calls and let's look at the description of that signature. Part of the Modbus messaging protocol and if you didn't meant that to be used, so that is probably something that you want to be alerted. So let's create a new signature that we will include. Now you can choose a specific signature such as the uh, Modbus, let's just look for that, read coils, or you can even use the filtering. Now, if you use the filter itself, you can use, let's look for the Modbus protocol. There it is. Now, it will show you all the different application signatures that have the Modbus protocol. All right, and you can see that the default action is block.